I'm up on Hard Knock Pass today. Um, in the last video, we are actually up on the top of there and I said that I was going to drive down the valley, turn around and head back in the same direction that I came from. But I've just had a quick look around this fort because it's, it's been years since I did this. It was when I was a kid that I last came here. But just notice that you get the views up to Scarfell and Scarfell Pike. This one's Scarfell. We've done that one before and we end up walking right down here and down that valley. Scarfell Pike, the highest one in England, is in the clouds. But what I'm tempted to do is um, head up here. I don't know whether to go all the way up to the top or just to this point here. And we get a clear view over to that side. Haven't really got a plan, but we'll see where we end up and hopefully there's less people there. It's quite busy in here. It is kind of cool though, and it's got a pretty cool backdrop. But we'll go and see what's up there. I've walked up a little bit higher now, and we got away from the crowds, and we're getting a view up to Scarfell and Scarfell Pike. Um, I'm not sure what, what you'd call this valley. It looks quite nice though. You get in, um, you can see where the rocks have been falling down. So there's a, a few marks on the grass. So I think they could make an interesting foreground. And then you get the Scarfell range sticking up into the clouds. A lot of it's covered at the moment. So I'm gonna stick on the two stop filter just to balance out that scene. And then we'll work something out now. I hate these filters sometimes. There we go. So I got a polarizer on as well. Just to help bring out them colors a little bit. And then we'll use the filter holder to stick in some ND grads. I'm gonna use the soft grad just cause um, the mountains stick up quite high. So using this one, see where the clouds are there. We can balance all that out and not dig into the ground too much because if it was a hard line and um, the mountains will look kind of strange and a bit fake but this should work we're actually gonna have to use a mixture of two got that two stops off which is doing most of the the top and then we'll use this hard grad probably down to about there. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna underexpose it a bit just with that one filter. The ground is a little bit darker on the back of the camera than it is in real life. All the details are still there. It's just like half a stop darker than what I can see with my eyes. But I think that's better than having that hard line across the middle. So I'm going to get sort of like a camel's back. Got Scarfell pointing up into the sky. Then it drops down quite sharply. Then you've got Mikkeldor in the middle, which is in the clouds at the moment. But we'll wait here for a little bit and hopefully Scarfell Pike will come out. So once this is set up, it's just a bit of a waiting game. It's just starting to rain. So we could get some like really dark clouds maybe. We'll stick this onto a two second timer and grab one or two shots now because it, it could get better. It could also get totally worse because that rain is meant to come in at three o'clock for like the rest of the day. So this could be the best thing that we see. It might be worth getting a shot down into this valley as well and getting them farms. I might go and stand on that edge. We'll give this two more minutes because as soon as I move this, then clouds are clear. You can sort of see it clear on the right hand side now. I'm just going to put this um, lens cloth over that lens. 
got a nice manly pink colour. And then um, we'll wait and... It doesn't hold up in the wind, this one. And then we'll wait until that clears a little bit. And then it's quite a barren valley. There's a few trees. There's a road that goes down the left-hand side. And on that right-hand side, there's a track over there. So... Uh, I don't know what the right decision to make is. I think I should get the shot, then I've got something. So I'm going to grab the one as Scar fell. It looked better when we first got here, to be honest. So maybe it is the right decision to move. And it's going to be a bit trickier because that rain is going to be coming towards us now. So I think we're still going to need this two-stop filter. I want to try and avoid this rocky outcrop. I just want to get fields, farm, trees, and that road on the left-hand side. And we've got some rain on the front. So we've got the rain off. Going to use a two-second timer, start that. We'll have a quick look. I quite like how the trees on the left-hand side frame the field. That view over there is pretty much gone now as well. I think I am going to get a wider shot as well, just in case I prefer it. So we're going to get some of this, the greener area on this rocky outcrop. I'm going to get some of the bracken, which is quite brown at the moment, but it'll add a different colour into the picture. That rain's bloody annoying. I think I'm quite happy with that. It's not got a lot of stuff going on in there, but that's just sort of the way some of these valleys are. There's just not a lot going on. Which is a good thing, I think. Um, just adds a different look. I feel like the first shots that we got of Scarfell are gonna be the better ones. I feel like waiting here until that rain comes in horribly though, because the car's not far away. I'm kind of wet already, so I think I'm going to stay in this spot. I'm not convinced it's going to be worth it going to the top of there, but we'll see. If it stops raining, I will go up there. It'd be kind of good to get that valley if it was like absolutely horrible and started like hammering it down if that sky got really dark. So I'm going to give it another 20, 30 minutes in this spot, see if anything changes, and then we'll catch up then. I've got a feeling this rain is coming in now. I've got a feeling this rain is just going to be coming in and getting a lot worse now. Um, the bigger drops you can see them on the screen and the views are disappearing slowly so I'm gonna stay here until I'm like completely soaked and cold and then I'm just gonna be looking over at Scarfell and Scarfell Pike and down that valley and then I'm probably gonna drive down that way and maybe jump out a few times if it clears up a little bit I don't think I want to leave this camera out in the rain any longer. It's pretty wet. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, a little bit shorter and not as much adventure as normal, but hope you liked it anyway. It's quite fun not climbing massive hills sometimes and just doing some easy ones. Um, I don't know. It's not something I've done in a long time. I used to do it a lot. I used to go on a lot of random drives, pull over, run over to something like this and experiment so i think i want to get back to that and plan things out less because i think that works out better for me rather than doing stuff just because it's a logical reason to do it 
and just doing stuff for fun. So yeah, hope you like the video anyway. Fingers crossed we'll be up on the fells next time and I'll see you then.